Rico Chem and Co Academy is definitely one of the best resources that you can find online when you're trying to learn to co on your own. And if you are struggling really hard about finding resources to practice, in today's video, we're gonna walk through all of my high recommendations for you. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a web developer, a software engineer, a front-end developer living in New York City. So if you are interested in learning how to code, web development trends, or anything that is related to tech, you might consider subscribing to this channel because I have a lot of contents that are perfect for you. Oh, by the way, this video is not sponsored by any of these companies or websites. This is all based off my past experience of mentoring other people, listening to the feedbacks and coming up with a list of recommendations. You can set a time with me to really talk about your situation and how I can tailor that to your need. Make sure to check out the sites that I list down below in the description box. Okay, so recommendation number one is this website called Cold Wars. And that sounds like you're competing with a lot of people. Not necessary. You're mainly just competing with yourself. Cold Wars is a platform that can be used to develop and sharpen your skills for actually building a project. So it's very practical and it's a great platform for you to practice your problem solving skills in an actual project. And also notice that this site has a ton of videos that could possibly help you. This is definitely for sure number one resources to help you to practice your front end and web development skills. Recommendation number two is this website called CSS Beto. While that learning CSS can be extremely painful and time consuming, this website is something that I find myself getting really addicted to, to turn learning CSS or practice CSS into a actual game that you can compete with people on the internet. This website is completely free and you can just register for an account. And there are so many different patterns and drawings that you can use CSS to create. This website is perfect for people who are getting, you know, more comfortable with CSS framework and they wanted to practice on custom CSS. So if you wanted to level up your CSS while you're still having fun, I would say this is definitely one of the best resources that I can find on the internet that actually help you with that. One of the things that they so call as the best solution to solve or to create this pattern with CSS, it might not be actually a best practice. The layouts and the best practices in the real world is sometimes different than what's the best solution for whoever can come up with you know, the solutions in CSS Battle. But despite that, I still think that this is a really, really great website for you to practice CSS and level up. Recommendation number three is this website called JavaScript 30. And this is a complete program that lasts for a whole entire month. And also this is entirely free. So this program is created by one of the best or most popular podcaster, Wes Balls. And this is a program that contains 30 different projects for you to build and it was meant for you to build it every day you watch the beginning of the video it usually has maybe you know 10 minutes of the videos to just walk you through the projects what you're expecting to build and then you can work on your own to build this project and obviously it comes with like different types of assets that you can use to build this project and the goal of this website is to allow beginners to get more familiar with vanilla JavaScript. And I keep talking about like how important it is to get familiar with JavaScript because that helps you with learning React or any type of platforms in the future. So this is a really, really, really good resource. And I remember when I was learning, this website definitely helps a ton. And this is also a really well known platform for beginners, for people who are looking for free resources to practice 
JavaScript. Recommendation number four is this website called Frontend Mentor. And this is a really, really great website because it gives you realistic workflow for you to practice. All of their challenges are including not only desktop designs, but also mobile. And they give you, you know, different style guides to help you to get started. And I would say that one thing that I really enjoy in this website is that it allows you to access to different levels of skills. So you can be a junior, intermediate, or even like hard challenges. So according to how comfortable you are with front end, you can start as easy as just the beginner levels and moving up towards the more harder levels. Even though there might be a pay options for different challenges, but I still feel like this is a great website for you to practice your front end skills, especially that is similar to what the real world experiences are and giving you like really practical projects to work on. This is by far one of my top recommendations for people to practice on web development. Recommendations number five is this website called CodeWell. So CodeWell is a website that offers like real world Figma templates and it provides you different types of challenges for you to practice on building those projects. I know a lot of you guys complain about you don't have real world experiences, like how do you practice without having that experience for it? And this is one of the best websites that I would recommend because it has a lot of different challenges that you can follow and build projects with. You get to improve HTML, CSS, and JavaScript using this website. They have a Slack community full of people who are also building different projects with you on this website. So what is more fun and useful than having a community of beginners and developers who can help you through this process, right? So I would definitely recommend this website because of that very reason. I hope those recommendations are gonna be helpful for you and get you excited to start learning or continue learning about JavaScript and web development. And if you are currently consider thinking about learning React or even thinking about, you know, project ideas for you to build for React, I have two of these videos that I absolutely recommend you to check them out. One is how to learn React and then the other one is the React project ideas that I found on YouTube for free and different projects that you can build and tutorials to follow. Be safe and adios.